Security industry is one of the oldest industries in the world. Even the caveman knew the value of security. David Walsh founded Netwatch in 2003, after a friend was attacked, responding to a traditional alarm call. Today, his innovative security company monitors over 600 sites. Most people are familiar with traditional CCTV systems, and what the Netwatch system has done is move that to a new level. So if a criminal tries to break into a property that we're protecting, not only is it recording on site as per normal, the difference is we're watching here live in our command centre, often thousands of miles away. But the most important thing is that the operators in the command centre here can intervene there and then with a personalised audio warning. Attention, you two, get away from the doors. Leave we might say something like, you in the red cap, the or you three guys with the balaclavas, or you two, leave the area immediately. So they know exactly they're being watched. It's not a recording. They know that the police have been notified, so it's wise to leave the area. Our system has grown enormously over the last four years. We started in 2003 with one site, and presently we have 620-odd sites that we're protecting in Ireland, across the UK, Europe and the States. The very first night that we received an alarm call, I was actually in the command centre myself. We were here, we had one site online, and an alarm call came in to say that there was a breach of security in one of the sites. We all panicked. We said, what's going to happen now? For the first time, we realised this was serious and that there was something happening. We raced over to the computers to actually address the situation to find out that it was a four-legged intruder. It wasn't a, a, an actual intruder, it was a dog. But we were relieved to know that the system worked and we grew from there. To relax, I play a game called Rackets, which is unique here in Carlow. Apparently it started in 1913 and is played to this very day. The rules are very much like squash, except that it's played in a handball alley with a tennis ball and tennis rackets. It's a highly competitive game, and uh, for the hour while the game is on, we tend to forget what's happening in the outside world, and all is, all is well. I am very competitive, both in sport and at work, and I think that's what you need to be able to drive a business on. It's not just happy you would accept the norm. We need to accept your performance, and I suppose that's what has us where we are.